with Jeff Zort. Uh, tell us about your run. No, it was good. I, I, I haven't raced here in five years and, you know, I've been here 17 times. So, you know, it was just wonderful to be back in kind of my home mountain here and and uh, home race. Everything is just so familiar to me. So uh, leaving the line today, you know, the conditions were really pretty good. I just probably was a little conservative for how good the conditions were. But, you know, I've got a special car here that is very expensive and not mine. And so, you know, I kind of have that in the back of my mind. But I really did enjoy the run and, you know, really didn't make, uh, you know, probably made a couple mistakes along the way, but it was pretty drama free and uh, a lot of fun, but just fun to be back. Wonderful. Well, we're glad to have you back. Tell us a little bit about the Porsche driving today. Yeah, um, the Porsche that I have been honored to drive really uh, is one of 77 in the world. Uh, it was uh, kind of allocated to me through Bob Ingram, a collector in North Carolina who's uh, also part of uh, the Road Scholars uh, team there. And so I had a chance to drive, like I said, one of 77 of these cars in the world and be able to uh, take it to an extreme place like this where there's a lot of consequence, a lot of things going on, but just prove how adaptable, how capable that car is, even as you know, most of the cars are ending up in collections. There won't be a lot of these cars that have raced, but this one has racing history. Wonderful, did you have any problems coming up? No, I had no problems at all, other than I forgot to turn off the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do warn you about that at the yeah, gate. Yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, I forgot to turn off the air conditioning. I think I was too comfortable at the line. So, uh, but it really was a great run, and the car is just a beautiful, balanced car. And we had uh, Joey Seely and uh, Emotion Engineering set the car up for me. So I had a great team, and obviously, Mobile One's a big part of this mountain here, and Mobile One's been a big part of my efforts through the years. I mean, literally, they've probably done three quarters of my races here have been my primary sponsors so to have them back on board kind of bring back this dream team that uh, we left off on and and uh, be back here five years later is extra special wonderful and, and and it is extra special to come back and some people go and they they come back here and there and and what what drives you to come back um you know I started here in the dirt and you know and my first year with Porsche was 94 and and then I went through the transition of asphalt and dirt and then the be here in the challenge of running all pavement. It's just, it's been a fun transition for me. I've, I've grown as a driver in those years. I've grown it to really like the new surfaces here. And I just love the fact that there's so much pressure in 12 and a half miles that you don't get a do-over, you don't get a pit stop, you just don't get anything else and you've got to go against the elements. You've got to race against the mountain and all of those things combined is something that I like in a high pressure situation and I like the fact that it's finite. You're done when you hit the finish line. So it's a special place. Do you eat the donuts? I eat the donuts, of course. Of course I do. So and I actually haven't had one for a week here, so I'm ready. Wonderful. Well well Jeff, congratulations on making it up again. Uh, you said 17th time? Yep, 17th time and uh, actually my personal best today. So it's a extra special to go faster than I ever have here. It's so, a great day. So. Well, go get yourself some donuts okay. and have, enjoy your, your, uh, your trip. Yep, thanks, <laughs> thanks for you guys being up at 14,000 feet all day. Thank it's not you. an easy task either. <laughs> all right, thanks. All right, Bye. take care. Congratulations. Thank you.